Hello, this is Terry and welcome to my next video in my mini teardrop camper build. And uh, in the last uh, video, I got the galley hatch frame completed here. And uh, what I'm gonna do in this video is uh, try to go ahead and get the inside uh, skinned out with my flexible plywood and uh, mount my lights and uh, at least do that. And I uh, might can get a little bit further depending on the time. So. One of the first things I've got to do is uh, just do some light sanding on the inside here so my plywood will lay down nice and flat uh, before I start uh, gluing it uh, to the frame. So uh, let's go ahead and start uh, with some sanding. Okay, I've got all the curved beams and the horizontal beams and the joints uh, sanded uh, smooth so there's no high spots and uh, if there was any glue that was sticking up, all that's gone too. So I think the next step I'm gonna do is just dry fit it just to make sure it's uh, still fitting after everything is uh, glued, screwed and stapled and sanded. And uh, after that, I'll go ahead and uh, put the inside skin on and uh, get that done. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I got it in there. I still got my uh, spacers in there. Of course, I'll be taking those out whenever I permanently mount it. But uh, everything looked uh, really well. It, uh, fit in there really nice and uh, uh, tight. Um, uh, tight because of the spacers, which I kind of expected. And um, since the spacers are out, it'll be a little bit looser, but then again, I'll have my trim and everything. So I think it'll be fine. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this inside skinned.
Okay, I got the inside of my galley hatch glued. I got the plywood on. Uh, did this side first. Uh, doing this side, I'm gonna let it dry overnight. Uh, one thing I noted up under the bottom of this, uh, there's still some cracks on my beams in the plywood. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just get some liquid nails and fill those cracks up just to reinforce that. And the next thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get my uh, router and uh, smooth the edges all the way around. So let's get that done. I've got the inside of my galley hatch trimmed out and um, I uh, went ahead and uh, uh, trimmed the edges off so it's nice and smooth and I got some liquid nails just to bond uh, into the cracks here so uh, it'll give me some strength because this door is going to be you know open and closing quite a bit and I just wanted more strength and also I didn't want to have to put any type of screws or anything from the inside that would show. I want it nice and smooth and and uh, looking pretty instead of having like staples or, or screws or anything like that in there. I'll do that if I have to, but I think with the liquid nails, I think it'll hold it just right. So my next step is just to go ahead and mount my lights in. So uh, let's go ahead and mount those couple of lights in. Okay, I've got my lights installed and wired up here. And uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take the wires that I've got uh, already connected 
inside of my control panel inside the camper and connect those up and do a test. So let's do a test. Okay, I got my power connected here. I'm just connecting everything with a couple of uh, uh, wire nuts here. So I'm gonna go on the inside and put the switch and see if it works. Okay, let's go in and uh, turn primary. Just turn the capping light so, so I can see. And this light here is for my uh, uh, galley lights. So it should be on now. And there we go. Very good. Uh, what I'm going to do too to kind of make uh, things a little bit simpler is I only have a switch there, but I think I'll also put a switch up here too so I can turn that off. So uh, no big deal, but uh, lights work fine. Um, I gave myself plenty of space to, to take the light out and change it if I need to. Okay, that's going to be it for this video. I got everything accomplished that I want to get accomplished with the uh, galley hatch. I got my interior skinned and I've got my electrical uh, ran for the lights and the lights installed and I got them tested. Uh, the only thing I've got to do is just do some varnish work. So I'll probably do that at the beginning of the next video. And then I'm going to start skinning the outside and start putting my trim on. So. Uh, Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks.